Bhakti Siddhan Sarasvati Goswami Thakur. Your, your Guru Dev. If you remember. And if you don't remember, then both. And then, any kirtan. Namami Nanda Nanda. Oh, that's what they should. You, you remember? Huh? Wow. Namah oh. Also, birthday of 
Three days are here in India, in our all months, there will be very big festival of Harikatha for these prominent bhakti leaders. <coughs> uh, one of you can tell something about Valde Vidya Bhushan. You can tell? You can tell something. Not very nicely. Huh? Not very nicely. Uh. Then Navin can tell something. In brief, because there are three gods, but important things will be told. Today is disappearance day of Sri Baladevi Dao Sandrahu. Sri Gurudev ordered me. Ye kya ye bolte hain? Chal. To describe what Baladevi Dao Sandrahu in brief. Baladevi Dao Sandrahu is a prominent acharya of Gauriya Vishnu Sampradaya. When he came in Vrindavan at first, he thinks that he is a great learned person. When he came Vrindavan and met with Baladevi Dao Sandrahu, Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, seeing his devotion and his Siddhanta, hearing his Siddhanta and seeing his knowledge, then he thinks that he thinks that I am insignificant to him. He surrendered quite surrendered himself the lotus feet of Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur. So in our Guru Parampara, after Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, Baladevi Dasan Prabhu's name came in our Parampara, in our spiritual hierarchy. Sri Baladevi Dasan Prabhu was in Vrindavan and Sri Chakravarti Thakur was in Vrindavan. At that time, in Jaipur, some Ramanuja Sampradaya scholar, they asked the king of Jaipur, O oh king, we have some <coughs> arguments with you. You always keep with Radhika with Krishna in Jaipur. Sri Govinda, Radha Govinda Dev, Radha Gopinath, Radha Madhav Mohan, Radha Damodar, Radha Madhav, so many Gauriya deities. Srimati Radhika is not married wife of Sri Krishna. So Radhika can stay with Krishna, it is illegal. <laughs> and told that you have no commentary about Vedanta Sutra, contents from Vedanta. So we could not accept your sampradaya as a bona fide sampradaya. <coughs> King replied him humbly that I can send some messenger to Vrindavan. There are so many Gauri <coughs> Vaishnavas, they can come and reply your question. Because you are scholar, I am not scholar, but my Guru Parampara, Vaishnavas, they live in Vrindavan, they will see you come and reply your question very easily. King sent some messenger to Vrindavan 
At that time, Sri Vishwanath Chakra Thakur was too old. Specially, he always spent his time about Antar Dasa. Antar Dasa mean, means Sadak has three stages. One is called Antar Dasa, another Ardhavaya Dasa, and third is Vaya Dasa. In Antar Dasa, he always emerged in his mood, in his constitutional form, and in serve divine couple. In Ardhavaya Dasa means not quite external mood, not quite internal mood, be, be, between internal mood and external mood. At the time, he sometimes is say some upset, like Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling, I am Krishna Chaitanya when he is in Ardhavaya Dasa. In Vajra Dasa, in external mood, he always spend his time doing Harinam Sankirtan. So Srila Chakravan Chakur in his last stage, always spend his time in Antar Dasa. He told, I am quite old, I don't want to live with Vrindavan Dham. He ordered to follow his disciple Bhagavad Vidyavasan Prabhu, Please go to Jaipur and reply their answer and reply their question, answer their question. Balata Vidyasan Prabhu, taking his blessing, went to Jaipur. And another devotee also with Balata Vidyasan Prabhu. There is a very big assembly. In one side, so many Ravani Sampradaya scholars, and another side, Sila Balata Vidyasan Prabhu, and one devotee from Vrindavan, and some devotee from Jaipur. And in Ravani Sampada, the scholar, they are so big body, so healthy. <laughs> and Baladev, on the other hand, is very lean and very slim. <coughs> King is thinking, how we can reply their question? But what? Nothing to do. But they came, they will discuss, and what will result? We have to see. So the Baladev, the Sampada, replied that. Krishna is potent, omnipotent, and Srimadhi Radhika is eternal potency. Potent and potency is non-different. None can differentiate between potent and potency. Likewise, sun and heat, sun and its rays, fire and its heat, none can different from sun, his rays, and fire and its heat. Similarly, none can different between Radha and Krishna. For the Lila Vilas, they are sometimes two, sometimes one. When they are two, then Radha Krishna, when they are one, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But both form eternal. Some can think though, then Mahaprabhu was not as before. So Radha Krishna was before, Mahaprabhu came later. Or Mahaprabhu was before, Radha Krishna came later. This is not a good question. Because they both form eternal. So Bhagavad Gita is replying there that none can differentiate potent and potency. Just like one example, when Krishna was in Braj, once Nanda Baba went to look after his cow grazing at uh, afternoon time, according to Isha Krishna Chandra Jogma arranged something. The sky becomes cloud, cloudy. This describe why Jayadev Goswami in his Gita Govindam, Megham Viduram Barai, in this sloka. Cow becomes a, sky becomes a cloudy. It has been drizzling. None of thing what to do. Krishna is a little boy. How I can protect him? In the meantime, Srimati Radha Thakurani, that means daughter of Vishwanu Maharaj, she came and she spread her arms. Krishna came to her arms. Silananda was think that they can go now in protect place. Nanda can understand what is going to be happen. Krishna and Radhika, Sri Radha and Krishna came to a groves under Bhandirbhat and they became teenage. In the meantime, also Sakis Lolita. Visakha, Chitta, Champaklata, Indulekha, Tunga, Vidya, Ranga, Devi, they arrived there. Our Adi Guru Brahma was going Pushkar. Sing them, he came down and arranged marriage ceremony according to Gandharvariti. 
So Krishna and Radhika in this Naralila they also married, get married in Bhandilbon, Bhandilbon, under Bhandilbon. So Bhagavad Gita Prabhu is giving example. If anyone married in past times, just like Buddha Prabhu is here, if Krishna Priyadidhi come in San Francisco or LA or Bejar or Holland or France, if anyone say, oh, I have not seen to marry with Krishna Priya, so I don't believe she is your wife. So if she have to prove every hair in the whole world, wherever you will go to marry her again and again, <laughs> is it a question of scholar? This is not a good question. Who is quite ignorance, they can think like so. So Brother Pitausan Prabhu is telling, so Radhika is his own potency, and they get married in Bhandivan, so no need to show everyone that she get married, Radhika. Then, the, then they have to spend all, all time to show the ignorant person. So it is not a good question. Another question that in scriptures, especially Slajibha Saipat explaining his Tattva Sandarbha, now give them. Srila Bhagavad Gita Sarvam Prabhu is replying second question. <coughs> that Gaudi Sampada has any commentary or not? This is very deep question. So Bharata Gita Sarvam replying from Jeeva Samis, Tata Sandarva, quoted here, Artho yam Brahma Sutra nam Bharatartha Vinirnaya Gatri Bhastha Rupa Asa Vedartha Parivrimita Artho yam Brahma Sutra nam Srimad Bhagavad is explanation of Brahma Sutra means Vedanta Sutra. Bharatartha Vinirnaya Explore explanation of Mahabharata, Gayatri Bhastha Rupa Maso and commentary of Brahma Gayatri. Because in Gayatri, Sattam Param in Gayatri Dhyoyana Prachodaya and here Sattam Param Dhimahi, both are same. <coughs> Just like in Dhyoyana Prachodaya, Bhargo Devasa Dhimahi, Dhyoyana Prachodaya, that means I meditate. Bhargava means potency of Krishna. Still manifest with his full form is all Hara. Full form and her associates. That means with Rivan couple in my heart. And here, Sattam Param Dhimahi. That means, Yanma Daso Yatanna Adhikarato Stavtesha Bhigga Sara Tene Brahma Hira Adhikakavai Mujjanti Yat Surayo Teyo Vari Vidam Gaha Vinimayo Tisarago Yaptam Risa Dhamna Sena Sadani Astakuakam Sattam Param Dhimahi. In this law, Yanva Dasa Yata, your Adda means, Adda Ras means Singar Ras. Someone can ask me, how you can prove that Adda Ras means, Adda means your Adda Ras, Janma Dasa means creation, etc. from whom I meditate him, but our Gasa means, our Guru Vargas, they explain, Adda means Singar Ras. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Chaitanya describing Chaitanya Chaitanya Amritam, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is asking Rahupati Upadhyay, what is the best form of God? Then the Rahupati Upadhyay is replying, Sama Meva Param Rupam. And what is the best residence of God? Puri Madhu Puri Bara. For the best age, teenage, Vaya Kaisara Kam. What is the best ras? Adda ras. So in one stroke he is replying to Mahaprabhu, Sama Meva Param Rupam. Puri Madhu Puri Bara Vaya Kaya Sara Kam Dhyam Adda Eva Paro Rasa So here, Janma Adda Sara means Adda means Singha Rasa Sa of Singha Rasa From whom? But from Divine Kapul So here, Singha Rasa created from Divine Kapul So here, Adda means Singha Rasa So Singha Rasa came from meeting with Srimadhi Radhika and Sri Krishna So here Sattam Param Dhimahi, that means we meditate, Sattva means Krishna, because Sattva Sajani, Sattam Ti Sattam, Sattva Sajani Nitaan Cha Sattva, Sattva Sa Sattva Dmaka Sattva Netram, Sattva Dmaka Ntam Saranam Prabhadde. So here Sattva means Krishna, and as before Abda means, who is Srinagas created with Radhika and Krishna. Here prominence of Abda Rasa is Srimati Radha Thakurani. So Srimati Radha Thakurani and Krishna both. They will manifest in my heart. Sattam from Dhimaya meditates them. So they are Dhyo Yana Prachodaya in Gayatri and here Sattam Param Dhimaya. Significance of both is same. So 
Bharata Gati has also Vedata for it being it up. And this is the full explanation of Vedat Veda. So it's a chap, which is a Bhagavad Gita and Prabhu is explaining there. So no need to describe any, no need to discover or no need to write any new commentary about Vedanta Sutra, contains from Vedanta. They replied that Ramanu scholar, we don't believe this. We don't agree with the proposal. We have to show that Gaurav Sampada have any bhasa, any commentary. Then Bhagavad Gita Sampu told, yes, I have to, I want some time. <coughs> they told, yes, we are giving you seven days. Bhagavad Gita Prabhu came to Govindadha temple and do full fast. And he is praying to Govindadha, oh Govindadha, what you like, you want to stay Radhika or you want to stay alone? If you want to stay Radhika, then you have to, in prayer to help me. Help me, you have to do put in my heart. Then I can write in a commentary. Govinda Dev came in his heart and told, Don't worry. You can do tonight. No need to wait for seven days. Why are you wait for seven days? So by the spurti of Govinda Dev, Sila Bharata Vidasan Prabhu wrote it down the whole commentary of Vedanta <coughs> Sutra. So Govinda Dev, just like dictating, suppose he is dictating and Bharata Vidasan writing, he dictated in, in his heart, in his trance. Next day, Bharata Vidasan Prabhu asked him to again arrange the assembly and he saw that this is the bhasa of Gauri Sampradaya. Then they agree with his proposal and they arrange that yes, Sri Radhika, Srimati Radhika and Krishna can both stay together. And from that day, none can say anything about Gauri Sampradaya, that Radhika and Krishna, they, can, <coughs> they could not stay legally. From that day, none can arise this question again anymore. So, Balata Vidyasana Prabhu in his Gavinta Vatsa, he is explaining that Janmat Dasalyata, and Athato Brahma Jigasa, Arupavata Vaita Pradhanatya, Anandamaya Bhasa, so many condensed from his friend, as if manner, it is so sweet and so easy. If we want to establish any Siddhanta, or we have any want to know very good deep Siddhanta, we have to go through commentary of Baladevita Osan Prabhu. Yama Dasta Jata. We explained just now about this law. Athadapa Athada Brahma Jigasa. When Brahma Jigasa, that means when any care will come about Brahma, all jivas suffering for threefold miseries. Adhadmi, Adhidavi, Adhivoti. Even a fortunate soul who have passed birth in present, this inquiry came in his heart that Athada Brahma Jigasa, who is Brahma? Who am I? Why I came in this world? Why I feel these three, three torments? I don't know what is lead to my ultimate good. This kind of inquiry will come in his heart. Then who is Brahma? Then second condensed form, Janma Sajata. From whom creation and protection and destruction came. <coughs> he is Brahma. But Srila Bharata Vidyasan Prabhu and our discipline, our spiritual hierarchy they explained, which he explained just now about Adda and Arupabhata Evaita Pradhanatva the Sankar Sampradaya they think that God has no form is all Rupa but Srila Bharata Vidyasana Prabhu explained in his commentary which Mahaprabhu give idea to us during this dialogue between Sarva Bhattacharya and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Prakasananda Sarasati and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All Upavat Evaita Pradhanatva. Here, all Upavat means not Rupavat. Here, more there's a fundamental word is Rupa. If you take out Rupa, then there is no word, only O. Or this O is called suffix? A prefix. 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 So it is there is no mean. So
so fundamental word is rupa so here rupa what means krishna is not the material form what he is transcendental form he is sang rup just like in this world for material person the difference between body and soul but krishna is no difference between his body and soul देह देहि विधा नास्ति धर्म धर्मी विधा तथा श्री कृष्ण स्वरूपे पूर्ण ज्ञानात्मक एकले श्री कृष्ण इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन बॉडी एंड सोल इन हिज एसोसिएट हु इज दैट हिज इटरनल एसोसिएट्स दे हैव आल्सो नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन देयर बॉडी एंड सोल दे आर सेम सो कृष्ण इज स्वयं रूप ही इज ऑलवेज इन सेम फॉर्म ही हैज नो डिफरेंस सोल एंड बॉडी लाइक material world material world so here all rupa vate bhai tat bhai na tat but prominence of rup means sang rup and anand of anavritti shabda anavritti shabda how we can get his mercy we have to practice again and again under guidance of guru and vaishnavas then we can get his mercy anand bhai bhasha means in shankar sampradaya they told that oh he brahma is ananda moy then he will be vikari but is quite impossible in brahma their philosophy is this that brahma satya jagat mithya jiva brahma hi mana param brahma is true and this world is false and there is no difference between jiva and brahma so our acharya questioning them you are telling that brahma is true and this world is false so may I ask any question will yes then our acharya just asking them that world is inside brahma or brahma is inside world they replied brahma means brihatta being anatta so is the no one is bigger than him he is brahma so they replied that world is inside brahma one hand they are telling that brahma is true and this world is false so if brahma is true inside brahma no false can no false thing can be obtained there so if they told no 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 then our acharya said you are telling brahma satya jagat mithya then how false thing can be inside brahma this quite impossible no 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 inside the world brahma is there <laughs> then they are replying if all this false how inside false that true thing can end including him so brahma must be false so if inside brahma this world will be there it is contradictory and inside world the brahma will be there it is also contradictory <laughs> so they are always defeated by our gauriya acharyas and jiva brahma hi na par means there is no difference between jiva and brahma then how so many jivas is here and is everybody is brahma so no need to give any advice why your audience and advice are why so so they are telling this due to maya oh due to maya you are telling that only brahma is coming of the kiyam from why maya came So our Gaudiya Vaishnav is so intelligent. They take out their own one point and they defeated them. Then they are telling us only Bachani Atta. We could not express in O R. If you don't put an express by O R, how you can make understand the whole O R? So who is following them? They are quite ignorance. So Shankaraja who came is Sakshat Lord Shiva. As before in uh, India, there was some. Sunnavar, that means Bodhavar. So Shankara Jo, according to advice or order of Narayan, he want to kick out the Sunnavar from this world. So according to fulfill his desire, he came in this world and kick out the Sunnavar. So our disciples, the Acharyas, they are telling that no, this. All is not false. This tatkalik sattva is true for time means, and Brahma is sattva. This okay, no problem. But Jagat is not false, 
And there is no difference between Brahma and Jiva, it is not also true. There is difference between Brahma and Jiva. Brahma is potency, both Brahma is potent and Jiva is his potency. So, Balata Guttasana Prabhu, yes, he admit three difference. He uh, admit five things. Isar, Ji, Kal, Karma, Prakriti. Prakriti. He admits these five things. And in Siddha, he composed Siddhanta Ratnam Grantha also. In Siddhanta Ratnam Grantha, he explained so many things and he cut out so many arguments also there. So many person that he, they explain like this, that Kesavata, that when Brahma pray to God, then God take out his two hairs, one black and another white, and throw it and told, now God will come from these two hairs. So it is called Kesavata. But Balada Vidyavsan Prabhu is explaining in his Siddhanta Ratnam. Kesavata means, Vishnu never be old. So there is no chance of grey hair, white hair. <laughs> Another thing, case means he telling Ongsubachi. Ongsubachi means potency, means Shakti. That means when they are explaining that hair, black hair, Krishna came from black hair and Bharat came from white hair. But still, Bharat Vidyasan Prabhu explaining and Cutting their arguments. That case means Angsubachi, that means with full potency. That means all Vishnu Tattva, all incarnation of Vishnu, they include in Krishna and Baladev. So he cuts their arguments and he explains the mystery of Kesavata. About Navapara, the Sivasya Si Vishnu, the Gunanamadi Sakalam, Dhiya Bhinnam Passet Sakhal Harinama Hitakara. In this context, that we should not see difference between Shiva and Vishnu because they are they have so much intimacy. But we should not regard Shiva that he is independent God. He is so near and dear to Krishna, so according to near and dear, this is called non difference. Like Saksat Haritena Samasta Sastai for Guru Dev. And Lord Shiva is also Guru Tatta. Sila Baladavidasan Prabhu explaining in his Siddhanta Ratnam. Shiva Sasa Vishnu Jaguna Namadi Sakalan, Dhiya Pinnan Pasetsa Kaluhayama Hitakara, Pahitakara. That means Shiva Sasa Vishnu. Shiva means Mangal Malas auspicious. The auspicious of Nam, name of Krishna. Rupa of Krishna, Guna of Krishna, Lila of Krishna, all are Shiva means auspicious, Mangalmoy. So if anyone different, try to differentiate between Nam, Rup, Gun, Lila, it is Namapada. He is explaining here, not, he is not taking here, Shiva means Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. Primary of destruction, destruction, he is not taking here, he is telling here that Krishna's Nam, Rup, Gulla, everything is auspicious and Mangalmoy. So no one should differentiate between this four Nam, Rup, Gullila. If someone differentiate between Nam, Rup, Gullila, this is offensive. So we have to go through Siddhanta Ratnam and we have to go through Govinda Bhasam. Then we can understand our Balaji Vidyavasan Prabhu. And he wrote so many things in Siddhanta Ratnam and uh, rest thing and uh, we shall hear from Srila Gurudev and today is also two more auspicious tithi. So we shall hear from Gurudev and other Vaishnavas. Hare Krishna. Panchakalvataru Bhastya Kripa Sindhu Bhairavata Pajaman Pavan Bhuru Sindhu Mahan. You have understood something? It's clear. <laughs> Little fast. He is very fast, but it's very clear. Fast. Yeah.
Can I say two things about Bhagavad Gita? Yeah. Very good. He is also Guruji was talking earlier today about Siksha and Diksha and about the relationships that we as Vaishnavas have with our Siksha and Diksha gurus. Um, he uses an example, Krishna Das Kavaraj Goswami in, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, listing all of his Siksha gurus but not listing his Diksha guru. I want to say two things about Srila Baladevi Dibhushan. One is regarding uh, Siddhant and the other one is regarding an interesting uh, point or aspect of his life. The first point, Siddhantic point, is that Srila Baladevi Dibhushan came in a, a Diksha line coming from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Um, Sh Shamananda, Shamananda Prabhu, or sh actually it was, uh, Shamananda Prabhu was a disciple of uh, Hridoy Chaitanya. He was a Diksha disciple of Hridoy Chaitanya. And uh, Shamananda Prabhu went to Vrindavan to take Siksha from Srila Jiva Goswami. So in this case we can see that although he had a very qualified Diksha Guru, he actually traveled to Vrindavan to take Siksha from Srila Jiva Goswami because at that time it was known that Srila Jiva Goswami was the most renowned scholar of Siddhanta in, in, uh, in the Indian, in India and in the whole world. So it was known among Vaishnavas and it was, it's, it's always been accepted among Vaishnav circles that Siksha and Diksha occur simultaneously. It's not that the Diksha Guru passes away and then we take Siksha. These two things by the concordance and the acceptance of the Diksha Guru. It was, Hridoy Chaitanya was, was so enthusiastic and so happy that his great disciple Shamananda Shamananda was taking, taking Siksha from Srila Jiva Goswami. So, Sh Shamananda Prabhu had one very wonderful disciple named Rasikananda. Rasikananda Prabhu uh, was responsible for delivering the uh, state of Orissa. And uh, after Rasikananda Prabhu, he had a disciple called Radhananda, and this is the Diksha line coming from Shamananda Prabhu. After Radhananda Prabhu came Nayananda Prabhu. Nayananda Prabhu's Diksha disciple was Srila Baladevi Dibhushan. So this is this is the Diksha this is the Diksha line coming from uh, Hridoy Chaitanya. Uh, what happened? This is exactly what I wanted to illustrate uh, regarding the Siddhantic point is that Srila Baladevi Dibhushan was taking Diksha, for, took Diksha from his guru, uh, Nayananda Prabhu, and he traveled to Vrindavan to take Siksha from, from Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Again, this, this takes place within the healthy conception of Gaudiya Vaishnavism. This is part of our tradition, in the sense that, that we must constantly take Siksha. And if in this world there, is, there, are, there are gradations of Vaishnavas, it's understood within the Vaishnav community and it's accepted by the Diksha Guru and it actually is the de definition of a Guru to, to tell their disciples, to lead their disciples to those who to know Siddhanta, to those who can help them understand Sri Krishna and Sri Radhika. So what happened was Nayananda Prabhu, as, as did Hridoy Chaitanya, were pleased and happy that their disciples approached uh, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur and Srila Jiva Goswami for Siksha while they were alive, while they were on the planet. Um, uh, so this is a very, very important point for all of us as Vaishnavas to understand, is that Siksha and Diksha are an intertwined aspect. We can't separate those things. And that a, uh, the proper understanding of the Diksha Guru is, is uh, fleshed out and, and, and made more understandable by, by taking Siksha. So this is one point about Srila Baladevi Dibhushan's life that's very important in our right now in, in, in our stage with ISKCON and everything that's going on. And that's one aspect that I wanted to say about this idea of, of Siksha. The other point is that I wanted to ask uh, Srinavim Prabhu, uh, what Baladevi Dibhushan, what was his name in his previous life, Prabhuji, do you remember? No? Well, Baladevi Dibhushan in his previous life was actually an associate of Sarvabhum Bhattacharya. And when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to take darshan of Jagannath Dev in, in the Jagannath temple and he fainted. Sarvabhamacharya took Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu underground through his tunnel into his own house. And that's when, that's when uh, he asked Sri Chaitanya, you're such a beautiful young boy, how could you take sannyasa at such a young age? Um, you, should, you have to strengthen yourself by understanding Siddhanta, by understanding Vedanta Sutra, so you should listen to me 
as, as I tell you about Vedanta. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu listened to Vedanta for seven days. And then at the end of that, he, this famous response to Sarvam Bhacharya was, the, the Vedanta Sutra is as clear as the sun, but your, your commentary on it is, is obfuscating it like the clouds do the sun. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then gave his own commentary and, and actually discussed the true meaning of Vedanta Sutra in the line of, of the Gaudiya line. Present within that assembly, while Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was actually discussing these things, was one devotee who, I'm trying to find out the name, but I, I, I can't What's that? Gopinathacharya. Thank you, Prabhuji. And Gopinathacharya was present, listening to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu expound uh, the true meaning of Vedanta Sutra. Uh, Gopinathacharya, uh, of course, ab absorbed that into his heart and, uh, and left this world. And he took birth again in this world as Srila Bala Devi Yabushan. And it's interesting to see this is aspect of the interest of it is that he, taking birth of Srila Bala Devi Yabushan, he was then entrusted with the, the, um, the important, uh, the important of, of taking the Vedanta Sutra and actually showing that within the context of the Vedanta Sutra, it, it was uh, Radha and Krishna could actually stand together and, and embrace and, and, ha and have a loving relationship. So he approached, he approached uh, Govinda. His commentary is called Govinda Bhashya. But we can see that in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Sarvasya Chaham Hridi Sanivish Domatas Smriti Arjana Pohanam Cha. That he actually can make us remember and he can make us forget. And he's, he is actually the person who does that. So in Baladev Vidyabhushan Prabhu's life, Krishna actually made him remember that when in his previous life, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was actually speaking Vedanta Sutra, he could remember those things. And he was able to actually compose, compose the Vedanta, uh, the Govinda Bhashya, commentary on Vedanta Sutra. And those were the two things that I wanted to, to share with the Vaishnavas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Tell anything about Baldevitya Bhushan? Where is Prem Prayajan? Always sitting behind. Can you tell something? I only know what the Vaishnava has Actually, Baldev Vidyabhushan was born in Odisha. Near Puri, there is a place, Chilka Lake. He was so brilliant. In boyhood, he learned all Vyakarana and everything, Ved, Upanishad and everything. And he wanted to read and to adhyan karna chate, to study. Study. study, especially Vedanta. He read the Vedanta of Shankar explanation, Shankar explanation. And he wanted more study, so he went in South India. There is a place, Udupi, where he studied all Vedanta's Bhashya, Sri Bhashya of Ramanus, Parijat Bhashya, of Nimbadita, Nimbadita uh, Shankar Bhashyamor and uh, Vishnu Swami and all other Bhashya, Bhaskar Bhashya, so many Bhashya are there. And he became very learned. Then he returned and he wanted to conquer the whole world in philosophical tattva. He came to Puri, the Sarvam Bhattacharya and all were there previously. So in their line there are so many learned person, I will conquer them and defeat them. He came there and at that time Gaudiya Vaishnava was Radha Damodar that he told in the line of Shamananda Prabhu, Rashkananda Prabhu, then Nainananda Prabhu and then Radha Damodar. He was a very good scholar, very learned. 
but he he covered his all learnings very simple person always chanting remembering in the line of chaitanya mahaprabhu rupa goswami one day he came baldev vidya bhajan to defeat him but when he heard his all the siddhans established strokes of bhakti he realized himself a very insignificant insignificant and not knowing anything in front of him like a baby a small, small baby. boy and he at once surrendered himself to the adorable spirit of radha damodar and took initiation from him then he went to vrindavan and he took shelter of shila vishwanath bhakti thakur here he read all his sandarbhs six sandarbhs tatva sandarbh bhagavat sandarbh then krishna sandarbh bhakti sandarbh priti sandarbh all sandarbhs and he surrendered totally there in the meantime vishuna chavarti thakur became in the age of 100 and he was too old and he has taken uh kya wo sanyas chhatra sanyas chhatra sanyas chhatra sanyas mein i will let leave the leave that place braj that place braj dham or nodip dham or jagannathpuri dham jagannath so he has taken chhatra sanyas for puri dham so he has decided that i will never go out of vrindavan oh, i will never go out of vrindavan and he was actually about 100 years so he uh, at that time there was some quarrel that navin brahmachari has told all it the thing was that ramanu sampradaya is a vaidhi bhakti they accept all varna sam dharma so they were telling that how shrimati radhika not marriage with krishna will always seat with krishna this was first question it is illegal <coughs> secondly there is no name of radhika in shrimad bhagavatam or any epics or any shastra thirdly Gaudiya Vaishnav are not sampraday. Any Vaishnav sampraday. There are only four sampraday. Sri Brahma Rudra Shank, Sri Lakshmi sampraday, Brahma sampraday, and then Rudra sampraday and Shank sampraday. In Kali Yuga, there are four prominent acharyas. Acharyas, according to them. In Sri Sampradaya, Ramanuj. In Brahma Sampradaya, Madhvacharya. In Rudra Sampradaya, Vishnu. And in Sanak Sampradaya, Nimadi. From where these Gaudiya Vaishnav newly have come? So we don't accept. Also, they have no any commentary on Vedanta Sutra. so we cannot accept them as a siddhant so many questions were there and king then requested vishwanath chakravarti thakur to send anyone or to come but he denied then he ordered his disciple shri bish baladev Bal vidya bhushan and he came with a prominent disciple of vishwanath chakravarti thakur they both they came and baldev vidya bhushan defeated all he quoted so many purans ved upanishad and all shrimad bhagavatam that everywhere radhika and krishna are radhika is his potency or power 
they cannot be separated. He quoted one story from Jayadeva Goswami that how Radhika was married to Krishna. Also there is a story that when Brahma stole away all the cowherd boys and cow um, calves. calves. <coughs> then Krishna became himself all the boys. And at that year Gargachar announced that this year all the gops should give marriage their daughters this year. It's very auspicious year. Because this is very auspicious year. So in that year all the uh, daughters of the, all the go, gops, all gopis were married to all the gops. But actually the gops were himself, Krishna. So all were married to Krishna. Also he showed some uh, shlokas from Srimad Bhagavatam, Anaya Radhito Nyunam Bhagavan Hari Rishwara. Also there are so many shlokas he put it all and proved that Radhika is his own power, no need of Mary and nothing. They accepted, they were bound to accept, they were defeated. Then they told that uh, you are not Vaishnava Sampradaya. He told, he proved that we are in the line of Madhvacharya. Madhvachar, his disciple was, uh, what name? Uh, Ogebshan, um, Dircha to Nityananda Prabhu and Lakshmi also Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. So, uh, Madhvendra Puripad was disciple of this Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. Then they asked that question that he was Tirth and Madhvendra Puri is Puri. So how this difference came? He cleared it that from Sannyas anyone cannot decide this thing. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was initiated by Ishwar Puripad at Gaya and he followed in Vaishnava Siddhanta Ishwar Puripad. He did not follow Keshav Bharati who gave sannyas. So Guru uh, is who, who initiates mantra, diksha mantra. He gave him Gopal by Lakshmi Pati Tirtha in Gopal mantra. Another mantra. There was any Grihastha Bhakta at that time. After that he took sannyas from anyone in Shankar Sampradaya as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took in Shankar. But he was Vaishnava. So that Vaishnava was called Vishnu Puri in Madhva Sampradaya. So Madhvendra Puri took sannyas from that Puri, Vishnu Puri. So he is Puri, but he is still in Madhva Sampradaya. So we are in Madhva Sampradaya. Now it is, there is a very friction in Vrindavan and Navadi is going on. They are telling that we are not under any Vaishnava Sampradaya. We are fully independent. 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 Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu should ke take shelter of any other Sampradaya? He is himself Krishna. <coughs> But this argument is not correct. Correct. Krishna, he came to get, went to Sandipani Muni. Ramchandra went to Vasishta. They accepted them like guru. So the uh, duty of Sam Bhagavan is no, not to start. The job start. of a Sampradaya guru is not of job of Krishna. Only his powers and associate can preach all these things. So Lakshmi, Brahma, Vishnu Swami and Nimbadit, 
all are his associates otherwise if krishna is the head of the sampradaya then it will be krishna sampradaya not it will be brahma sampradaya narayan sampradaya so the name of all these sampradayas are all on the name of devotees si sampradaya brahma sampradaya ramanu sampradaya and like this so now it is they are telling that we are separate and fully independent and sampradaya but bhakti vinod thakur sila jeev goswami and before that gopal bhatt goswami kabhi karnapur they have accepted madhva sampradaya so we must accept madhva sampradaya what madhva in balde vidya bhushan has told in his all books they tell that he went to uh, urupi in the place of madhacharya and he accepted madhva sampradaya his initiation was in madhva sampradaya and he came and then he came in the association of viswanath chakravarti thakur but he never accepted um, gaudiya vaishnav that is why he has told that we are in madhva line but this fact is totally wrong hmm? e baldev vidya bhushan was not in our gaudiya gaudiya vaishnav how we explain all the sandarbh and he accepted chaitanya mahaprabhu as a non difference of krishna how he he wrote so many all the books in our line of viswanath chakravarti thapur rup goswami he has explained also bhagavad gita no no lagu bhagavata amrit lagu bhagavata amrit and all the books of sila vishnu rup goswami he was a rupanuga vaishnav <laughs> <coughs> if at that time baldev vidyabhushan was not present then i think that from world our gaudiya vaishnav name has been disappeared so he he has established all the things that chaitanya mahaprabhu has established so he is really in our gaudiya vaishnav sampradaya if he will go to vindavan some will tell like this वो बलदेव विद्या भूषण को स्वीकार नहीं करते हैं। नहीं इसीलिए तो कि उन्होंने मध्य संप्रदाय के अनुगत कह दिया नाउ इट इज नॉट बिफोर नाउ फॉर अबाउट वन हंड्रेड ईयर्स दे आर राइजिंग दिस क्वेश्चन बट भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर शिल प्रभुपाद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी एंड ऑल अदर हैज कट इट देर ऑल ऑर्गुमेंट्स और गुरु महाराज very poorly he has written one book about this i i want to publish it with <coughs> my, so many notes and explanations very soon i will publish it so baldev prop is prominent person there are so many things but time is going to be over so i am take uh, another point uh, There was a Bhashi. Ganga Mata Thakuran in Bengal at the time of Rup Goswami near near about. There was a king family in Putia. Name of the place was the Putia. He was king, and he has a very beautiful daughter. Name was. सोची देवी हां सोची देवी शशी सोची 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 देवी शी वाज सो ब्यूटीफुल एंड फ्रॉम बॉयहुड ही यूज्ड टू वर्शिप राधा कृष्ण कंजुगा एंड व्हेन ही बिकेम सम एज एट शी बिकेम सी शी बिकेम ही married with krishna shyam sundar hmm? and i will not marry any person in this world my husband is himself krishna shyam sundar hmm? always worshiping krishna 
friendship became more mature his father king and mother all there pursuing her to marry but he told very vividly that I cannot marry any human body. I am married. I have been married. I want to go now to in Vrindavan to serve my husband, Krishna. They could not satisfy her. At last the king was ready and he helped her and sent anyone with her to take her to Vrindavan. He came to Vrindavan. At that time, Rup Goswami has left this world. Sanatan Goswami, Jiva Goswami, all were not in this. Even Raghunath Das Goswami was not at time present. She went in the Govind the temple there. Govind was there at that time, not in Jaipur. And there was a priest of Govinda. Dev and his name was Haridas. He was very learned person in the line of Rupa Goswami, always chanting, remembering with Ashtasattik bhav, and melted hearted with tears always. He asked there, she asked there that, now who is uh, qualified Vaishnav here? I want to meet him. Anyhow, she reached to Haridas Thakur, Haridas Prabhu uh, in Gobind the temple and he heard the uh, classes of um, Haridas Prabhu. Hearing and hearing, he had so much uh, shraddha, honor for him and he took him like his guru and he told him, requested him, that uh, I want to be initiated by you only. I don't want to accept any other guru. He examined her in so many ways, but so many, about one year, and he saw that he is, she is quite qualified for this. Then he uh, gave, gave him diksha, initiation. But at that time she was the age of 16, very young. He has also so many disciples. Among them there was a lady devotee. Her age was about 50. He gave her hands in the hands of that lady devotees. He told that you are like her, younger, elder sister or mother. He should take care, take care of her hmm? and he should be in Vrindavan. But I want that she should go to Madhukari. Though he is the daughter of king and his father has sent so many things and money and everything. But I want that she should go to beg no. one chapati from one house. She did so. Only one chapati. Only for maintaining her life, he used to take and refuse anything more. And in a very little hut, with that her uh, elder lady, elder 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 lady, lady. he used to be in Vindavan. Very <coughs> simple, very simple. But she was so beautiful. So his Gurudev was somewhat well for her too. But he knows that. If anyone is just devotee, Krishna may save her. So gradually she became of 25, 30 years age. And hearing all these things and keep it in, in his record here. Heart. In her heart. And he became so learned in his speaking Srimad Bhagavatam as his Guru Deva. Like now in Vrindavan. Savita, Kavita and all others. <coughs> she can recite so well Srimad Bhagavatam, especially Raspanchadhyaya and all others, Brahma Gita and all others. 
and all used to be she used to be weep bitterly and so many ashtasattik bhav used to come and anyone could be charmed by her then he sent her to radha kun to be there and there at the age, up to age of 50 she was there and that lady was has left his body elder and then she became alone and he again came to his guru dev and told what should i do now that elder guardian lady guardian lady has gone left him then he told that now i am also so much old i may go i left the i can leave this world any day so i am giving you one service you should go to jagannath puri the place of sat bhambhata chaj now neglected and drained and no one knows i want that you should go there and make it prominent and illuminated that place and you should do bhajan in sat bhambhata chaj place very near to gambhira where chaitanya mahaprabhu used to live and this will aid your add your more bhakti and everything she came to jagannath jagannath she used to deliver some sweet classes of srimad bhagavatam in few days all become charm so many god learned persons devotees began to come to hear her hari katha hari katha one day a brahmin from jaipur came with his deity rai okay sham rai sham rai aage sapna dish lage je he came here when he was in jaipur He saw a dream that take me to Ganga Mata Thakurani in Puri. Na Sachi Devi. Sachi Devi Ganga Mata Thakurani. So you should take me. You are neglecting me. You are not properly serving me. So at once you should without delay you should take me to Puri. Otherwise, I shall destroy your yeah. whole dynasty. And if you are not uh, doing so, your whole dynasty will be ruined. 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 So he took his shalagram and that deity, that is shalagram, Shyam Rai, and he had married with Shyam, you know. Yeah. So Shyam Rai wanted to meet her Bigra and Rupa. to be served by her. So. Bigra Rupa is chilling. Vigra, uh, Vigra, and Vigra, Shamra, Vigra, very beautiful, blackish but very, very small, <laughs> like Govind Gopinath Madan. <coughs> He took on his head in any basket, and coming, 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 there was no any coming rail or something. anything. No. So walking he came in several months. When he reached. He came to uh, Sachi Devi and told that I have seen a dream like so. I want that you should take it, but she refused. I am Nishkinchan Vaishnavi. I cannot serve any deity. I do bhav seva always. I am nothing. I am one farthing at pais. to bring uh, any paraphernalia paraphernalia or anything throne pushpa and all other things i only wait one chapati anywhere i i go to jagannath temple and have some madhukuri madhukuri like ananda prasad ananda bazar mahas prasad can it be offered to thakur so how can it I have not a farthing with me," she refused totally. In Kaljo, it is very hard to serve Radha and Krishna or Mahaprabhu. After some time, 
A day will come when Archam will not be maintained. Like Mohandans um, broke the temples of India and occupied and did so many things. Now so much a struggle is going on for this even today. So a day may come that we cannot do archan freely. The Pashandi will be so much powerful. Eh? powerful. So I cannot maintain this worship this Shyamraya. <coughs> but he was fearing of he dreamed that our dynasty will be destroyed. destroyed. So he kept it there in the forest of Tulasi, which he, she has maintained. Very big place of Tulasi, everywhere Tulasi. It was like a jungle. So he kept it in it and he ran away from there. Shamra. <laughs> <laughs> That deity gave a dream to Sachi Devi. Sachi Devi that he has uh, kept me here. <laughs> I, I have not taken anything, my bath, even anything, prasadam, nothing, naivedam, nothing. So quickly you should come and take me. I am waiting for you. Otherwise, I will be to have a star heart like this. Then she at once went and saw such and he saw that very beautiful deity like this, Shyamraya was there. And she picked up and took her. But where to keep? One day, in the meantime, he kept it in his heart, in her heart. Hermitage. One day, she was there and this today, Ganga, the day of Ganga coming was there. All the prominent devotees were going to take bath in Ganga very far away in Bengal, in Calcutta or in Navadi. All were going. Ganga Mata wanted to take bath in Ganges. So she be, was became going to there. But he thought that oh, who will serve this Shamra? My husband. So how to do? She cannot go. She was so worried for this that, oh, I could not go to take bath. And he slept in the night. And he saw in a dream that Ganga is coming on from there. And there was a sound like kal 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 kal. And he saw that there is a very big like lake pond. And there all are taking bath. Hari bol, Hari bol. Gaur Premanande, Hari bol. She also went to take bath. And he, she took bath. But current was so strong, strong. strong that it carried it to Jagannath temple where Radha and Jagannath, Subhadra, Bhadde and Sudarshan were there. The door was closed. But even the current was going there and she went there. In the meantime, the time of Arati Mangalarati came. And they heard some sound. noise sound in temple. And when they closed, open. No. Then king was reported. And the head priest was reported. They came there. And they opened the door and saw that <coughs> this devotee was there. Hmm? Oh my God. They told that, oh, she is a thief also. She was preaching so much, Krishna Katha, giving classes. Now he sees thief, he says, how she entered in this? And she should be given to jail. Hmm? And she was given to jail. Then, in the night, Jagannath, they came told, in, came in the in same, dream. same day perhaps, came in dream, of dream to the Pataparudra king. king, or his father was there, that at once 
go there. Apple eyes. She is my potency. My power, like potency. My potency. You should just go and take it and give. Uh, you should take initiation from her, and your whole learned council should go to her and take initiation from her. If you are not obeying, I will destroy your whole kingdom and all dynasty. At once you should go. So King appeared to that Sachi Devi. Ganga, our part is very rich. Our Aitiya, our Ganga, our Gosha, our Jyoti, our Jyoti, our Jyoti, our Jyoti. And also, Jagannath Devi told that from today her name is Ganga Mata Thakurani because I have brought my Ganga here only for her. So he is Ganga Mata Thakurani. And just today you should go all and take initiation from her. And give some donation. And what she wants, you should make a very beautiful temple. Temple and Sarvam Bhatta Charger. Everything. You should go and do all these things. Renovate. At one king with his all council, he went there, all Brahmins, his Lord and Council, Pandas. They went to Janavatim, Gangamata Thakurani, that Sachi Devi. And they apologized that they had made guilty her and offended. Then they told that you should give me initiation. How I can do? I don't want to initiate anyone. But and again and again, Request. the king was requesting and keeping his head on her lotus feet. At last, she agreed and gave initiation to king and his all Household. associates. And then king told that I want to give some donation. What you want? Then she told that if you want to do anything, my guru dev has ordered that you should go and illuminate. Renovate. The place of Sarvabhartacharya. So, you should do like this. And he, in a very short time, he built a very good temple. Temple and also the places of Sarvabhartacharya where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarvabhartacharya were sitting and discussing Vedanta Sutra also. His deity all, Shyam, Shyam Rai was also there. And then, she became so prominent in whole Puri that all Puri devotees used to come and hear his Bhagavad. Today still in the nearby of Jagannath temple is Ganga, Shweta Ganga, even today. And all used to go there and they take bath and they think that we are taking bath in Ganges. Is it in the temple or in the temple? In the temple. Very near. So this is Ganga Mata Thakurani being a lady devotee, but very powerful Acharya. And today is the auspicious day of Ganga coming here. Who is Ganga? Ganga is in his two forms. One coming from the lotus feet of Bamandev. His lotus feet was worshipped and was washed in water and Brahma took it in his Kamandalu, water pot. And from there Bhagirath brought it in this world. And another story is that in Brahma Vaivart Puran, Ganga is like a Sakhi, like a Lalita Abhishakha, Srimati Radhika Chandravali and others. One day Krishna was sitting with Ganga, Sakhi, and he was talking some pleasant things. In the meantime, Srimati Radhika came and she saw that, oh, she is, Krishna is meeting with this Ganga Sakhi. So Krishna became shame, shame, shameful, shameful, ashamed, 
and also Ganga was Asham. She became water and Krishna also like that. So this Asham uh, Ganga became water and this is called Birja. One drop of that water came in the middle point of um, Bhaikuntha and this worldly world. Uh, and in that uh, Karnadishai Vishnu is sleeping and Lakshmi is massaging him. Massaging him. So this is one drop of that Ganga uh, who became like Prem Sarovar in Vrindavan, you know. Srimati Radhika and Krishna both has become Prem Sarovar. They melted. So Ganga was melted in this thing. From one drop, Karnadishai Vishnu, and from there, when Bhamandev went there <coughs> in Brahmalu, he took one um, some water from the Karnat Dishai Vishnu, uh, Karna Karanavari, he took. And he washed the feet, lotus feet of Bhamandev. And that water came and became Ganges in this world, Bhagirati, and in heaven, Olokananda, Mandakini, Mandakini. Mandakini and in Patalo Mandaki. Bhogavati. Eh? Bhogavati and Mandaki. So, so uh, this Ganga is Ganga Shakhi also. Anyone can tell that if Ganges is the feet water of Krishna or Bhamandir, how can we can uh, give it to, offer it to Krishna? or Narayan or anyone. How? Anyone cannot give the fit, fit water fit of anyone water. to, to take it. or to worship or anything. But it is wrong. Krishna feet and Krishna head, Krishna eyes are same thing. Krishna remnant is also Krishna. Mahaprasade Govinde, Nama Brahmani Vaishnavi, Sautapunyapatam Rajan, Vishwaso Nai Vajayati. What is the meaning? What is the meaning, Prabhu? Navadhi Prabhu. Mahaprasade, Govinde, all are Krishna. Then? That those who are very, have very meek or very meager, uh, pious Vajra. credits, they cannot have faith in the Mahaprasad, in the in Govinda, in the Vaishnavas, and name and the holy name of the Lord. If we are taking Mahaprasad and thinking that by Mahaprasad now we have been impure, then what is the meaning? They have no faith in Mahaprasad. We shouldn't think like. But for Kanishta Adhikari, Sukhdev cannot wash after he is taking Mahaprasada. He will do like this. Oh, I am so fortunate to have this. But now we have some doubt that how can we enter in Thakur Mandir and we can offer any bow. We think that this is remnant of Krishna. But remnant of Krishna is also Krishna. But you should come in this stage to believe like this. Otherwise you should wash your hands and then go to temple. But never think that I have become impure. Uh, it can be given in Abhishek of Krishna. It can be given on the head of Krishna. It can be offered to him to drink also. No harm. In Puri, the smart Brahman, they did not give, offer Ganga Jal to <laughs> Jagannath because they are smart and they are offensive in Krishna lotus feet. They never give. They tell they have dig any well there and from well all the water are supplied there, not from Ganga. If anyone bring Ganga water, they will not give to Thakurji. Is he current say he is a Chernozak? Chernozak. Is he a Pavitra? Oh, you need it. 
तो इस सिद्धांत के हिसाब से जब हम भी अभिषेक करते हैं तो उसका चरण धो के हम लोग करते हैं We don't think like a smart Brahmins. We are bhakti. So, Vishnu, Mahaprasade, Gopinde, Nam, Brahman, Vishnu. For these things are Krishna himself, not different. There are some Vaisista. Vaisista means speciality. A speciality. The remnant of Krishna is more. Powerful. Powerful than Krishna himself. Mahaprasadam. Vaishnava are more powerful than Krishna himself. They cannot come to us. We cannot see Krishna. But we can see Vaishnavas. Vaishnava are the full mercy, embodiment of the mercy of Krishna. Krishna has some rule and regulation. He has to follow, to come to us or we can see Krishna. But Vaishnavas? Unconditionally. Unconditionally. Causeless mercy. Mahaprasad is causeless mercy. Mahaprasad is Govinda. Naam, more powerful than Krishna himself. He has invested his all power. Naam, Naam, Akari, Bhaudhani, Sarva, Shakti, Stattara, Pita, Niyamata, Krishna. Krishna has some he has to think what is the proper time, what is the proper qualification to give my darshan to anyone. But Nam Dev, he can come even offend us also. Anyone can chant Krishna in day or night, taking bath or not. If he is making a stool and anything, he can chant Krishna. But in impure Stage. We cannot take the son of Krishna and worship even nothing. So name Mahaprasad or course is merciful. So we should think like this. Now time is eight. So today I cannot explain. I could not explain Chaitanya Chaitamri. For tomorrow, from tomorrow, in morning. Bhakti Tattva Vek and you in the evening. Bhakti Tattva Vek and you in the evening. You may come, you can give one chair also. Tomorrow is a class here. And he should come at what about? At 10 and 1? He can come first to you in the hotel. Oh, he will come to me first? And then you can come together. Very good. Tell all the devotees to come, like we are today. If tomorrow morning all of us can come again at about program? ten and half, before ten and half. At about ten o'clock, kirtan will start, and then class will start ten thirty to eleven thirty. To eleven thirty. And there is morning program tomorrow, Barangi. Barangi. Morning program is there tomorrow. It's difficult. They don't open the place. Not here. No. 